Welcome to today's tip. I've just got a very quick one for you today. Um, something that doesn't happen all the time in Excel, but has happened to me on numerous occasions. Uh, it seems to happen when you export data from a accounting package or some sort of um, software package that you export reports with numbers in it. And what often happens is these reports have a whole list of numbers that are um, formatted as text. And for example, when you try to sum these two numbers here, you get the answer zero or you get a value error sometimes. Now, what's actually happened here is Excel has stored these numbers as text, so they're actually not seen as numbers by Excel, but just as text values. And you can see this by the little error thing, so we drop that down, you'll see number stores as text. One option quickly to change this is to convert each of them to a number, which is all well and good, except if you've got hundreds of rows of numbers. You don't want to go through each individual number or each individual cell and convert it to a number. So there's a little trick we can use using paste special. So just choose any random cell, enter one into that cell, copy it, then select your range of numbers um, stored as text, so it's the 10,000 and the 5 here. Then use paste special, special which is alt es, shortcut key. You see we've got a paste section at the top here, we want to paste some values. Then there's an operation section that I, I'm sure a lot of people have never actually really used in Excel, but you see we can add, subtract, multiply or divide by numbers. So what we want to do is we want to select multiply. Now I'll just drag this over here. What we're going to tell Excel to do is multiply this range by the value 1, which is the value we've copied. So we go back to the Paste Special dialog box, click OK, and you'll see our total now updates to 10,005, which is what it's supposed to be. These numbers are no longer stored as text. Although our text for just to note our text for, uh, our self formatting still says text, you can just quickly convert those to a number, and you'll see we get the left align. Um, pretty useful. Um, doesn't quite capture the power of it just using two entries, but all the same. It gets the results we need. Thanks for watching. Cheers.